Hey Dizzy, what's up, man? Right, Good to see you, Omar Stanley. Man, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I was telling that crowd. Um, I think it's been a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The last time we met was about what two, two or three years ago. Yeah. It was a kill beat um, uh, listening party. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. That was about two years ago or last year. Oh, was it last year? Two years ago. Yeah, right? almost oh, two years. Wow. Anyway, how y'all doing? What's the meaning of that? Rapid fire. Uja fire. Uja. man. Wow. Hit songs. Hit songs. Hit songs. Congratulations, Charlie. You've done so well. Thank you. And you've really kept your brand. Um, I mean, you. No dirt. It's been very solid. What has been the secret? Uh, I think we just um, we keep it real. Staying true. To By that we just I mean like we just we just we don't try to stage anything. You know we don't try to act. We just try to keep it as real as we can. You know. When you say if you, do, you don't act, what does that mean? Uh, because in our industry, you know, we, most of the most of the things are staged. You know, you you, <laughs> okay. you, you want to be a brand, you know, so you have to act have a certain way. way to, you know, we don't do all of that. We just live our everyday life. But sometimes you can go off the radar. You know, you can yeah, just vanish. It, yes, That's it. But we it, don't it, hear anything. But we are living our everyday life, even off the radar, which means with our friends, our family, you know, just live like a normal individual That's or a normal human being. So why is it that others are doing it? They don't produce. If they don't produce, it's like we, oh, they, they, they lost or they, they are into oblivion. What That's do you mean it. they don't produce? I mean, if they don't bring out content, yeah. that's what I'm saying. But in your case, sometimes you don't produce anything. You are just there. Yet, that's some sort of relevance. That's what I'm asking. I you feel also it's, be, it's entirely because of our back catalog. I don't. I think people. Um, Sometimes forget, sorry if you were home. We have like a very solid back catalog. You know, we had a show last night and bro, the performance back to back to back, you know, from Ademad, Kiss Your Hand, Ajay, Odor, Wolai, Slow Down, you know. And I feel not just the not just the amount of songs we have in our catalog, but the quality of songs has really, really helped us. I see. Mugis, well, you, you you don't talk too much. No, Mugis the sing. <laughs> we made a talk. Mugis the sing. It 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 it, it, it the sing. That's well, that's what is. When we release the album, we know they see how they sing. Oh, too new man yet. So Mugis the sing, then I the talk. Talk, talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mugis talk, 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 talk. Yeah, man, everything nice. We here. <laughs> ah, you say you go talk now. You say everything nice. We here. Hey, be me the question you or you the question me? Be me the question you. Yes, yeah, so. Uh -huh. So be me the question. You. <laughs> <laughs> no, but 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 you you, why have you moved into, into much more singing now? What's what's the plan? Because, you know, back in the day, child, this guy will spread some bars. Man, yo, rap. yo. People, other people, I tell people all the time. Yeah, Mugi started as rappers. Yeah, like solid hard rappers. You get bars with no good. You know, yesterday I was talking to someone and I said, I Charlie, I if this guy they spit, he said Mugi's really, <laughs> well, Mugi's can he rap? I'm like, you don't, what? you don't know. Yeah, it's from, it's from them days, you know. Yeah, but yeah. why, why yeah. the switch? Uh, Cause the girls love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that's the truth. It might, it might sound a bit some way, but no, the truth is, fact. I do this thing for the girls. Okay. And for Ghana as a whole. Mm. Boys need only a... You know, I know, I mean, my cry, I say man in tea. Yeah, hustle, I hustle, I say man in tea. Speaking of girls... I think when you put, like, your words into melodies, like, it, people kind of gravitate to it more than, you know, any form of music as to talking or something like that. So I chose to do, like, the singing. Right, I see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you still don't remember the verse, huh? Yeah, no, 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 no. You can't rap the whole verse. Oh, really? Nah. None of my. We haven't verses. performed this song in 
been like ten yeah, years, yeah. ten or more. Wow! Yeah. But I'm sure on 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 a hard stage, when, once it drops, yeah. when, once the intro drops, <laughs> yo, what twenty ninth? Twenty ninth, we are having a show. Really? Yeah. Uh, your own show? Our own show. Oh, really? Where's that? La Palm. La Palm. Yeah, La Palm oh. Royal Beach. We're actually breaking communication today, so we give, we've given you the exclusive. Oh, nice, nice. 29th, 29th yeah. December. Yeah. Oh, wow. Free promotion. Free <laughs> 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 we are going to charge you for that anyway. <laughs> we are going to charge you for that. Uh, oh, I see. No, I can't wait. 29th December. Oh, am I yeah. free? Yeah, I am. I am. 29th. And I'm invited. supposed to be at Pulse, Pulse Crib or some Pulse Crib in Tema. But yo, right, right afterwards, I'll be there. Oh, nice. Okay, so so you don't listen to all, all of the old stuff, not not at all. It's all barely, about the new. Barely, barely, barely. Even barely the new. Let's get closer. Even the with like the new songs. So, for instance, with our new album, because we, we like play the songs for like a, a long a lot of times before it's released, it's done. Mm -hmm. It being from recording process to mixing and mastering. By the time the music is out. We are kind of like tired, now. tired of the music. Tired of listening, listening to the music, you know, because most of our songs also takes like years. Okay. Yeah. So, for instance, on our album, a song like Tinkerbell with Ways is like three years old. Alaji, uh, that uh, Kuvi produced is like four, three, four years old. You know, so we've played these songs for like three, four years old, three, mm. four years before constantly it comes out. So by the time they actually come out, we kind of like, like you guys can enjoy it. We really cool, you know. <laughs> but it helps us to quickly move on to the next song because we have to keep working. So by the time you guys are enjoying what is out, we are quickly on I'm to the next. Of the next. So of all the songs you released, okay. So which one is your favorite? I I need no pity. Which, which one is your hard, bro? Yeah, no pick one. That on on the daily when you feel like listening to yourself. I, or... I think uh, Walai is is our national anthem. It's Ghana's really? national anthem, not just well, our national anthem. Yeah, the impact. I remember when we released the song, uh, we didn't even think it was gonna be that big. Mm. So we released Walai with Odo, if you remember. Yeah, yeah, okay. We knew Odo was a smash. Yo, hit, yo, Odo, Odo's but right. Walai with Odo was gonna be for more like boys, boys, you know, like young people hustling, like you know, band. more like a street. But bro. The day we released Walai, it, it just went. Whew. But did you did you have that kind of vim that yo? Let, let's let's put some energy in it. No, in Walai, I'm saying we didn't think it was gonna be that big. Okay. It kind of ended up doing more than what we. What thought, we like uh, way Odo beyond. Was gonna do. Yes, we thought Odo was the song, and I'm not. Odo still is a banger. Lovely. But Walai, I love Walai it. Walai just took us to another level. My favorite, my all-time R2B's favorite, man. Jesus Christ. I mean, yo, yo, I mean, once it drops, like, ah, yo, yo, this gem right here, man. And this is a gem, too, because Di indeed Diamond is mined from dust. If I remember how we recorded this song, it wasn't supposed to happen. Really? Yeah, it was a Sunday. It was one of the early times we was came to Ghana and it, I remember it was a Sunday mm. we had chilled Friday Saturday so we were kind of tired we woke up on a Sunday we were at Labadi Beach Hotel then we said yo call possible made to bring the studio come here at that time we didn't used to really move and record we used to always go to Tema and record but we said yo call possible make it bring the studio come here said, ah, but we chill, chill out there like this we, why, why we go record we could just relax tomorrow then we enter them. I say call possible make it bring the studio come here so we called possible, we pulled up. I remember. Who's possible? Even, Who's possible? Uh, possible is uh, our sound engineer. Okay. Also worked for Sarko there. Okay. Possi G. Oh, Possi G. Yeah, Possi G. Yeah. And um, so possible pulled up with the equipment, but he forgot his mic stand. <laughs> okay. So I remember we used the lamp, hotel okay, lamp. The oh. Lamp. And then used uh, like the, the bed sheets. Yeah, and that's how we record a slowdown. Really? Bro, it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> what a <Yeah>. story. <laughs> you know, yeah, that gem was mined from dust. Like, it wasn't supposed to happen. So, okay, so the beat was already cooked. No. 
he played it there. So if you see also the approach for slow down is very minimal as far as the beat. So QB just played a few instruments. He didn't finish. When he started to play, we started making a song. When he started to play, because Wiz was the one that wanted us to record. When QB started to play, he started, see that sexy girl from Ghana? Oh. Wow. Charlie, wicked tune, wicked tune. Ta, ta, wicked ta, ta, tune. Ta, ta, ta. So, Boozer. So, QB, uh, well, Charlie, okay. QB is always, man. <laughs> now, Wiz get featured on this. Well, this was like your your very first recording with, with Wiz, right? Wiz, yeah. It was, and I no, remember. I rem this before dance, eh? Ah, was dance before this. Dance before this. Yeah. Yeah, oh, this okay, was okay, feature. right. Yeah, so album. when when I remember very well when you first released this video, I think you were billed to perform in America that night. I think you were not around mm -hmm. when the video came out. I think it was a Foresight Awards or something, and okay. we released mm -hmm. the video, mm -hmm. and for the first time, and. Charlie, as the song was playing, like we were all like, oh, these guys, man, these guys. Oh, these guys. Now, your your relationship with Whiskid, he he came out, Ghanaians were surprised when you mentioned that he was getting you on, on his side. Like, oh, are we losing them already? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then he made you president. What happened? Are you still president? It's, it's, it's um, it's, something we try to to build i also feel like the the public opinion or perception regarding like because we're this nigerian we're Ghanaians, you know and also we are like legends here you know i think Ghanaians they really didn't take it they didn't take it that well we didn't really think deep into that one but i remember before we started the whole Starboy thing we, we discussed with Waze. I mean, Waze told, I remember in a conversation with him because I felt like, because we have a serious brotherhood of Waze, right? okay. And you you know clearly that Waze has a serious platform. Mm. We knew Waze before he blew up, before he had his first song, really. Yeah, so if life has taken us on, on a path where we can merge companies and do like crazy things because i remember at that time mr easy 2 was just blowing up mm. so I, I spoke to Wiz, like, yo, we, we need we need to even try and bring mr easy on board uh if he was already with us in a click mm. so it was something i felt was gonna be like really huge you know but the public opinion made us as r 2 be first of all step back oh yeah it's it, it, because we felt like, ah, I mean, if our people are not, you know, we we had to step back and then it is what it is. So if, if that's the case, why were you still holding the office? Because it was widely known that you were still president of Starboy. Yes. So you didn't issue any statement? You didn't say anything? Oh, we don't really, we are not really into issuing statements and, you know, we, we, want, we like people to believe what they want to believe. You really? know, again, like I said, we amongst us we had a a very serious movement we we're trying to create, right? But the public kind of messed it up. I, I don't really want to talk. I don't really talk to the public. Who is the public anyway? It's just one individual. You are the public. One, one, one together is what we call the public. So mm. when I'm talking to the public, I, I feel like I'm just talking to one individual. Mm. So with the whole public opinion, we felt like you know. It is what it is. We stepped back and then had to regroup and come. So, so what, what happened to the rest of them? Um, if, so you see, Mr. Uh, Easy Two started to. It's not like we even signed Mr. Easy. You see, also remember in Africa we don't have an industry. Really? In, oh, it's not really. We don't have an industry. We are now getting an industry. You know, there are a lot of things that you can do here in Africa. You can't do outside. You know, especially in Ghana also, we don't have an industry at all. So with Mr. Easy, although, so what I'll say is we unofficially put it together. So Mr. Mm -hmm. Easy wasn't signed, r 2 wasn't signed, IFIA wasn't signed, you know. And maybe Wiz announced it too early. Maybe he was too excited uh -huh. at the Ghana show. There was a show in Ghana, for yes. which show it was. Maybe yeah. he was too excited and announced uh, it was, very... I think, he, I think it was a VGMA. Yeah, a VGMA, VGMA, yeah. VGMA. Okay, VGMA. VGMA. So maybe he was excited and, and 
spoke about it a bit too early. So just after the announcement, things started to dissolve. Mm. Yeah. I remember very well that that, that day. We, when Wiz was going back to Lagos, it was the next day. He was saying, no interview. No interview. <laughs> because he, he, he knows the public won't understand what we're trying mm. to do. You know, so we just tell him, yo, no, no, no interview. You know, but it is what it is. So, yes. And it's, it's crazy because... Recently, too, I also heard the same Ghanaians saying uh, uh, we were in America. Waze and Waze was having a tour at the same time we were in America. And this, it was over new because my manager was telling me Ghanaians are saying, that, Why is Waze not putting us on this platform? Mm. Ah, are you serious? Are you guys not the same people that they didn't want us to be doing things together? Oh, really? <laughs> I'm really surprised when you ask me, really. I think you are, you know. You no, know. I'm not being mischievous, though, but I, I mean, if you say, I mean, you are telling me stuff that I yeah. know, I, I have no idea. But the, the reason I'm asking, because listen, on my way to work, those were the things I was asking myself. Yeah. That, okay, what happened with the relationship with, with Starboy? Because as much as a lot of people were, were talking, I was also looking at it from the business side. Yeah. That okay, how how beneficial would that be? Now they they've pulled the fear along. Well Mr. Easy is half ours, half Nigerians. Yeah. So but I me, mean, I, I I say he's ours because I yeah. mean I know him. And back even in the day. that also says a lot about how Waze also even sees Ghana. Because if you watch if you look at the whole roster, roster it was just basically Ghanaian and okay. Mr. Easy who's kinda like half Ghanaian. You know, so it was like a beautiful thing to Ghana. No, I just don't know. Sometimes, you know. But the way you, you people always ignore stuff like, ah, Master, let's do our thing. Just as you mentioned when you came up. Now, oh, we are living our life, man. We we want to live our lives. Let's live our, let's, this is the life we're living. We know they care. This is what we're focused on. Why didn't you focus on it that, look, forget them. We have a plan. Let's execute it. Why didn't that come up? Uh... Like I, I said, first off, the whole thing wasn't official. Okay. So, you know, sometimes things just happen naturally. So, like I said, after the announcement, things started to dissolve. Okay. Naturally. You know, but it never affected our relationship with Waze. Okay. Because it's two things. There's a business relationship, which he was trying to, because of his platform, he was trying to help take us to that next level as far as international. You know, and then there is the brotherhood. Okay. You know, because me and Wiz will be talking, and we say, yo, my nigga, you know how me and you, they talk like this? I don't have industry friend me and they talk like this. Okay. So that's not about industry. You know, so the business side went down south, but the brotherhood still solid. He made you president. Did you ask him why? Or do you no, have any, any, any leadership background? Uh, first off, uh, we've been running our own company for a long time. I'm CEO of R2Bs which means that I have know-how in running the music business. Wiz was at EME before Starboy. So at EME, he wasn't running his own business. So when he had to start his own business, he needed someone who knows the business in and out. You know, and this is somebody who is our guy too. So it was a very easy decision. Mm, I see. So re recently, well, such a successful event he had at, at the O2, and he, he put Kim Promise on. Yeah. And and again, Ghanaians were talking. <laughs> really, why I why is R2B is not there? Why is <laughs> R2B is not there? Also, I don't think also, you see, we don't need Wiz's platform. You know, we have to work hard. If we really want to be like Wiz, or we want to get to his platform, we have to work hard. You know, it's not, I don't believe in handouts. You know, you have to grind. So I don't see the why, say, if Wiz has to put this on, you know, his platform. I see. If that's what they want, next time we'll go. <laughs> <laughs> you are always sitting down quietly. <laughs> you know, then you can't fire <laughs> something. <laughs> That's it, they do what they like. <laughs> eh, Moogies, what sort of a person are you, Kra? <laughs> eh? Always. Eh, this guy will be on stage. Somebody go ask something. Hey, hey I like your shoes. Eh? 
Un emne bo. I was with this lady like ah this guy really I'm like yo forget him he's crazy just let him go forget him oh wow let's let's keep it tuning here on it's one zero three point nine FM I'm having a chat with uh, group R two B's Payday and Moogies are here in the studio and uh, we're about to check out their new album Back to Basics huh yep. okay if you really want to hear the whole album this is the best place to be. We're coming back right after this. I have a favorite on the album already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah Yo, I've not heard all these songs. That's Stone Boy verse, man. Yo, but man, I, I think I think that I think this is it. This is it for me. This is it for me. Wow. Listeners, welcome back. In case you're just you're listening to Hits 103.9 FM. Thank you very much. Uh we, we've enjoyed two songs of the album. Uh, we enjoyed uh, the one with Jackie. What's, that was Need your love. Need your love. Yeah. And with Jackie. And thank you very much for putting such a budding artist on. No, oh, she's amazing. Yeah. Nice song. It's nice amazing. song. And Stone Boy came to kill him. <laughs> yeah. Ah, boy. Firecracker, man. Bim. Ah, uh, oh, boy. This. this, this. Oh, you sit on him, man. So you, your crush is here. Oh, no. Rhea is crashing on Moogies. Oh, no. They are my big brothers. I can't do that. <laughs> Sadiq. 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 Right. So, how how long has it been cooking this? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How long did it take to put this together? Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, wow. I seen the album. Or? Yeah, the album. Yeah. yeah like, oh, wow. Like say four years. Yeah. Sorry. Like between three to four years. Three because, to four no, years. The thing is, it's, wow. it's, it, we don't. We, we just record. Mm -hmm. So like right now, after this album, we started to record again. We don't know when next. When next. When our next project is gonna come out. So we just keep recording till we are ready to release. We decided to release this album a little over a month ago. So a little over a month ago, when we came back from America, we just decided, okay, no, for release this album for the year end. So then we had to put the songs together real quick and then mix and master. Oh, so what you do is when whenever you're ready, you just select. Yes. Select. Okay. So if you see, we worked on 13 different producers on this album. Which 13 means, different producers. Which means it was just recorded one, 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 one. Not like sitting a producer down, explaining a project to him, and then going in. If a producer wants to work with R2Bs. How is it done? Oh, it's so easy. Really? Because we work with also O'Brien, the guy that played Promise at track 10 on our album. That's his first production. Really? Yeah. The DJ. We don't even, know, DJ. Him. Don't even know him. He's a DJ in London. He's our very good friend, DJ Fifi's friend. Oh, Fifi. Fifi's yeah, my guy. So he's, he sent us the beat. And then it's on our album. So once you send us a beat. So it must come through someone. Or someone. is, there, is that an email address someone. that. Uh, maybe you can also use our public email if you send through our booking email. Our managers will reach out. Yeah, uh, the the reason I'm asking is because the other time manifest was was just saying saying that oh come on man just send it, send them straight yeah, to my yeah, email. Yeah. Once I vibe with it, I'm, yeah. I'm ready to roll. So is it the same? It's, it's really that simple, you know. I mean, people see artists as like superhumans. Yeah, <laughs> but they are just. How everybody lives every day is the same way. Like, for instance, my every day is every morning, Coco, afternoon, two hours, evening, something else. Every day. Really? Morning. After every afternoon, I eat two hours. Every day. Every day. And for no? Debbie, Debbie. My girl's self tired. <laughs> but she says that it means uh, I'm very loyal. <laughs> if you're not proud of loyal, so <laughs> <laughs> Bodu, a loyal oh, to Bodu. Yeah, <laughs> two of you every day. Really? Yeah. So morning, morning is Coco. Coco. Yeah. Afternoon, two of you, and then evening, you know, just I think of. You don't do continentals. Debbie, 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 Debbie. You know we are Dagombes. We don't do. We don't eat all those. Mugis, is the same for you? No. Okay. <laughs> 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 you are not that loyal. <laughs> Okay, so how's it for you in the morning? <laughs> I don't like Josephine. No, get closer. I'm not saying you like Josephine. I don't like Josephine. <laughs> I don't like cocoa like that. <laughs> so what do you what, what do you take in the morning? Black coffee. Okay, coffee. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Then in the afternoon. Um, 
Maybe jollof rice. Okay. And I do a lot of chicken wings. Okay. It's a judgment day. The only judge me pan How about e- evening? Evening. Mm, it depends. Pinky, kelly, willy. Okay. And a lot of fruit juice. And I do a lot of salad too. Okay. It, it, how do you train your voice? Do no you, training. No training. You don't train. <laughs> You don't train. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I've, I've been stressing this truth for so no long. No training. No training. So on the real, I don't. I don't. I don't pay attention to it. Mm. Yeah, that's just. Yeah. No training. You don't. You. <laughs> you are not scared that oh, Charlie. Hey, if I do this, I yeah, may so hurt. That, it. That, I'm that, that right there is suffering. I'm always scared. That right there is suffering though. Suffering. Yeah. Fear of the unknown. Okay. Fear of the unknown. Because the known is. He's okay. He doesn't have a problem with his voice. But he starts to fear, like how you're saying right now, fear of the unknown. What if this happened? What if? And that right there is suffering. Because the, the percentage that a war happened is very minute. Really? But you might suffer your whole life. Yes, of course. Mm-hmm. Not just with this, but all our other fears. You know, we fear the unknown. No, oh, don't drink ice water. Don't do the liquid or I'll be lying. <laughs> if you go die, you go die. So you drink iced water? Yes, please. Mm. Very cold ones. I chew ice blocks sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not kidding. I'm not saying you are kidding. Yeah. I mean, you are just a fun. I mean, you 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 are just living your life. You chew ice blocks sometimes, although they say it's it's, it's not advisable to do it. But you, who said? Well, they they say. <laughs> and another funny I, thing is, I, you I, see, I've not seen it in any book. <laughs> you know, even if it was in a book, I mean, cause doctors sometimes. Uh, doctors come back and say that oh a research they did maybe 10 years ago they have new information <laughs> and you know what i mean so the people from 10 years ago what they would talk <laughs> you know so you can't listen to what this one say this one say this one say like i i like being with para <laughs> <laughs> I, I i had an interview with um um legendary mayway freddie mayway and i was asking how do you keep your voice i mean of all these years you've maintained it and it still sounds sweet and I asked him, so how, <laughs> how do I, how do I get this kind of voice? And he was straight to the point, said, "Stop drinking apetishi." <laughs> 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 I mean, that that, that was funny, but yes, if you can't one, apetishi go no kai. So no, I don't go no kai. See, 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 we get that. So we get that. 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 You, you, all the, all the do's and don'ts. Well, you've, you've just rubbished all of them. Yeah, but I mean, I do pay attention to certain things. Certain things, yeah. like what? Like what? Well, harm it. Sorry. Like what's gonna harm the voice? Like what? I mean, I, I'm, I'm getting yeah, this advice the, because well, well, people are. Thing. People say a lot of stuff, but I don't see them in the books. So I just live my, you know, normal life. But then anything that I think will, you know, kind of temper with my voice deeply i don't do it do you drink um partially okay do you smoke um what do you mean by do i smoke fish smoke fish no no that's not what i'm asking you know <laughs> you know what i'm asking i mean if, if i ask whether you smoke <laughs> you, if, if you say what do i mean wh- when i asked wh- when i asked you wh- whether you drink smoke you didn't fire. ask what well, what do you mean i drink fire service fire I service <laughs> yeah, drink, drink water. We drink water, but what do we smoke? Uh-huh. Yeah. So what do you smoke? You can smoke a house. Y- you can smoke a house. We can smoke a car. You can pull a light into a car and then we just blaze up and we begin to smoke. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> but I smoke, smoke harmful to your voice. Well, so they say. But me, I. No, I but Mali, them the blaze out. <laughs> <laughs> we are not even talking about. Oh, no, That's we'll what I'm talking able. about. No, that, that is what I'm oh, talking about, Mugis. You have to go straight. To I'm going point. straight to the point. <laughs> I'm not alluding. I'm not alluding any. I'm, uh, listen, okay. Do, wh- what do you smoke? That's why I asked. No, there's a tattoo. On, there's a tattoo on his neck. He doesn't smoke. What, what has that got to do with smoke? What, 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 what's that smoke. tattoo? Which tattoo is that? It's, it's a plant. Cassavalis. It's a plant. Chicken feather. I told you. Chicken. 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 <laughs> <laughs> They say we plant. You do say we chicken feather. <laughs> Somebody say we plant. Somebody say we chicken feather. We chicken feather. That's it. Um, recently, your interview with with our very own Dorin of you, mm-hmm. you you were mentioning certain things. I mean, reason you don't appear too much on on radio and TV. I mean, with interviews, 
in that the media is bent on, or the, the media has a penchant of, of posing negative stories or questions that you, you think that may hurt your brand or something that you are not really vibing to yeah. and that your, your vibe is only positivity. Was it something that you didn't really think of? You said it subconsciously, or it is something that is true? It's true. Very, very true. It's true. Mm. Yep. That, that there is a conscious effort to parade or ask negative questions. No, I don't think that. I don't think that. I, I don't know if it's a conscious effort to. But what it is, is this is an industry, right? The media is its industry. People outside the media wouldn't know what goes, for instance, with music. Sometimes I see things online and I'm thinking, ah, ah you believe all these things, but the public do believe them. Right. But us being in the industry, we know how people write things that are not true. I mean, right. maybe if they've written something about you that is completely illusory. Mm. You, know, you know what I mean? So mm. by that I mean, in your industry, even in that particular interview, we said a whole lot of things. But the pig just <laughs> <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Right. And even a week later was Wiz's show. Wiz's show. Mm -hmm. And after Wiz's show, I came online and then I saw uh they also took another part of the interview that stressed on Wiz and boom. You know, so I'm not saying there is this conscious effort to always be negative, but it sells, you know, you, you are running a business. Mm. You know what I mean? So I feel like we need to, as creators, you know, like I was saying, if certain things that the media writes, the public, the kids, <coughs> the Psy 15 boy or Medina kid doesn't know that all these are false. It's their truth. As creators, so for us musicians, that's why, like we were saying earlier on, we, we, we have made this conscious effort from when we came to, to make beautiful music. I mean, we can make all sorts of songs. We were born in Community One Side 15, in a ghetto, gutter. Really? Oh, we were born in, the, in a gutter. So we can be by heart, even. Ghana here, nobody pass we by heart. Oh, really? Oh, make no, make, nobody make noise. We, nobody pass we by heart, but nobody even knows. You know what I mean? It, it was a conscious effort we made to be responsible to society, to add value to society. Although we are running a business, there can be an easy way out. We can look for like cheap publicity to, to, you know, to run our business. And that's what I feel like the media should also do. You, you need to take responsibility. You need to know that you are creators, you know. So not only are you responsible for the public, but also the artists that you are interviewing. You know, also he is a human being, has a family, but for clouds or clicks, you know, they just pick some part of their interview and even some, I follow um, Kwame Eugene. I don't understand why they say Kwame Eugene samples a lot of people. In the whole, Rihanna doesn't write her own songs. I know. Chris Brown doesn't write his, his songs. Michael Jackson didn't Michael, write his songs. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, we hate what we don't understand and also even criticize what we don't understand. You know, you don't, Kwame Eugene is an incredible artist. It's too much. He's an incredible artist, you know, but if if someone, sam we sampled VIP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Home, yeah. Doesn't mean Wiz is not a good artist. If somebody samples someone, it's even beautiful, you know. We have to start to look at life in, in that way, in a more collaborative way than, you know. Con it's one of the, also the things that has worried Ghana music industry. If you look from Daddy Lumba, Right through, Lord well, Kenya, right through Lord Kenya to us. I'm not even talking about sampling. I'm talking about because we are so good, so talented, we don't even collaborate. Daddy Lumba ni nane champo, nyanyum. Daddy Lumba ni kujen chie nyanyum. Lord Kenya ni obrafo nyanyum. You know, then it comes down. But if you look at Nigeria, it's not like that. You know, there's the collective agenda of pushing Nigerian music. So even if we don't really agree, we, we know this, we, we have this collective agenda of pushing Nigeria. You know, I feel like that's one of the things we should embrace as Ghanaians and human beings in general. Did, did you listen to the interviews and, and punditry after after you made that statement? Because I just saw bits of it. Because some online. people didn't let you, some people didn't treat you with, with kid gloves at all. After the uh, interview? Yeah, they didn't take it lightly because I remember I was listening. Oh, I've forgotten the, the station. 
I would have mentioned. And they were like, yeah, well, we'll see. Now that they've released an album, we'll see if they'll come for interview. Now they say they don't do interview because of that, da, 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 da. So in your, even here, we discussed it. That, okay, so they're saying the, the, the media is all about niggas. And we did. No, I didn't say all about. We spent better. like, what, an hour or two yeah, discussing almost. it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, about an hour or two. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm really challenging the media. You know, just like you do challenge us, the media sometimes bash, not even challenge, bash artists, right? I am challenging the media to be more responsible. That's all I'm saying. I mean, if you also know us, you know we care less. That's why we said it. We care less if the media supports us or not. Really? Oh, we, we, we are authentic musicians doing authentic music. You know, I was once in a club, right, with one of my colleagues, and then they played a song that's for another artist that my colleague was beefing with. Blaze the song, he started to dance. Hey, this guy's song, Sweet Pass. That's his enemy. You can't stop good music, bro. You know, you can't stop good music. And I'm not saying we are fighting with, I don't want to say, I don't want to, like I said, we are very positive. So I don't want it to look like we are fighting with the media. I'm just challenging the media to be more responsible. But if you make a statement like, well, if the media supports us or not, well, we'll still survive. Well, well, that's a fact. Yes, it's a fact. But have you also considered that they may find it a bit To blacklist us. We have seen the the, the blacklisted artists like Kanye West. You know, not just Kanye West, but a lot of artists in the world for speaking their truth. You see, nobody can bully us. That's the thing. We are, we are solid human beings that nobody can bully us, not through business, through nothing. You know, I'm, I don't have to beg you. You see, if I didn't have a song, you wouldn't play me, right? If I wasn't relevant or doing well for myself, you wouldn't even discuss us here. We are doing very well for ourselves. You need to, I mean, if you don't support us, then again, we come back to the collective problem of Ghanaians. Uh, uh, Ghanaian artists not hit, hitting the pinnacle, right? Just because media is fighting with somebody who doesn't agree with them. If that's how you want to play it, fair enough. You know, that's how I feel. You know, I got disappointed when we billed you for an interview twice and you didn't show up. Oh, yeah. And I said, I, we were, that's why, so when we decided to do our media rollouts for this album, you were the first person we spoke about. Because we say, yo, we are disappointed you twice. You know, so we really, and then we realized we weren't here. Because they actually booked us for the Friday. Mm. And then in the morning, our producer, our lecturer was telling me that, oh, and you don't know they are listening to the interview. I said, really? So I called my manager again and said, if I don't know they know, they make postpone till he's here. So the, the fans were not very happy. when fans, when oh, well, yes, yes, yes. They yes, were yes. not. Yes. And I remember we also received our, our, our portion. They really give it. They they give to us. All this once it pass, now nah, they should be happy. <laughs> but you want to wrong you, guys? Because because what you are trying to bring on board is hey, that was so, yesterday. So yeah, it was just. So so I want you. I want you to say something Yo, to them. They my are the people, reason. My people listening. Like, are you uh, happy? They are not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, let's enjoy one more song and then our our our, 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 our elders will come in. Yeah, and I, also, I, no, I need, to I need, even I need, add to. I need, I need a song that is. That Andy, to add to. Well, I, I was just even thinking about what we're discussing right now. Right. So, I, I, I want to know: Do you or the industry or the media support artists because they are good or because you have to support them, or you support them because they are your friends or because they listen to you? No, um, it, it no. I'm just saying, not you in particular, but the media, because this is something I've realized in our industry. So that's why I'm putting the question to you: Do you support an artist? So you, as a media person or an industry person, do you support an artist because he listens to you, or that's what you tell him, I, I or mean, because they have good music and w- you support? W- it? Well, p- portions of here and there. You, you know, l- let me let me be very okay. I may not speak for the media, all of us. Yeah. But I think w- what you said, one, you do good stuff. You give, you provide good content. That's number one. Number two... Carry ourselves well. You know, well, responsible well, human beings well, in Well, if, even with that, I, I don't want us to even go there because, look, if you carry yourself well and your, your content is not appropriate 
for exactly. For no, I'm just adding show. to the content. That's right. Yeah. So for me, it's all about the content. I mean, this yeah. is not television. This is not your visual. So once they, they the music, hear, is good. music is good, I make sure that it, it's here. That's number one. Number two, it's not even about the friendship because look, just as you mentioned, Bob Marley was never my friend. Yep. <laughs> you understand? Yep. You, you guys are my friends, but I haven't seen you. We've not even spoken in how many years? Do you understand? Yep. But once the content is good, forget whatever has happened. Look. Ah, but me, I'll get issues with plenty of people. Still, I'll come and sit and I, I make sure I, I, I do their, their job. That's it. So I think the media is not only about negativity. Yes, just as you mentioned, the clicks. Now that blogging has become the, the in thing, well, cl clicks it, it has become... Well, tops for yeah. all of them because, well, they're also looking at the business side, but at the detriment or at the peril of the artist. So they yep. suffer for it. Yep. Yep. And then yep. you either enjoy. So in a way, we, the other time we discussed it extensively yeah. here and yeah. we, 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 we lashed out. don't have like your platform because we can make music every time talking about these things, right? But you can be here and discuss it. No, but so, you can make music and discuss it. Well, You're a musician. I mean, yeah. no, no, no. Fella, for fella instance, for, no, we, as our to be, we will never do that. We don't do that. Yeah, no, we are not, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we just, we just make, we specifically make love songs. We are like Daddy Lumba. <laughs> 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 yeah. So we, we won't do so. N not just us, with some of our colleagues as well, they wouldn't have the time to be able to explain themselves, like how you can sit here and discuss, you know. So it's hard on the artists, and like I, that's why I even mentioned the case of Kwame Eugene. And I'm thinking that the, the media should sometimes be able to cover these artists. Right, let me read some few comments. Uh, let me read some tweets. Full but uh, stop it says good morning, Andy, and respect to R2Bs for a solid year. Payday came with a masterpiece tape, and they ended it with this album filled with jam like a boss to ensure banker for us to jam to this Xmas. They should keep doing what they do more music, less hype. Kojenchi says, and their boss will hate Sankas and Mr. President and Mugis. Okay, Ad King Kojo says, Andy, are these the only presidential aspirant? Oh, okay. <laughs> Eagle Eye 7 says tell music tell Mugis I love him that guy without speaking self is adorable <laughs> Kojo Dombe says can you please ask how to be what their secret has been because groups come and split yet they have been together and consistent also speaking of groups and splits what happens do you do you guys fight sometimes no barely barely yeah argue but even that barely barely we have a solid movement you know what's the just, argument about I know okay, how, very how, petty how, stuff. how very, crazy very he can stuff. be. And... Very, very petty stuff. Like, it's not like very deep arguments, but also we are strong personalities, so everybody in their opinion, you know, so, but it's, 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 we have a solid relationship. Do you, do you dominate the, the entire process all the time because you are, well, the boss? Is, is oh, that... no, 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 no. If I didn't tell you, you wouldn't know I was the boss. Oh, well, it's, it's, it's known. Yeah. Uh, that one, yeah, everyone knows. Well, what I mean by that is, if you were with us, you wouldn't know I was the boss. Unless maybe my friends, maybe president, this, 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 you know. But I don't act as if mm. I'm not a bully. Mm. Soldier J says, boom, R2B is still we rest in peace. Talk of rest of peace. Uh, talk of rest in peace, R.I.P. Sarah Rashid. Yo, okay. Uh, Ahima Helen says, Brandy, let Moogies rap, please. <laughs> Actually, um, <coughs> stop it. Says as per days in the studio, there freestyle won't be bad. Actually, we want to hear it. Um, Mr. Loder says, Please ask them their secrets behind good music. Brian Dascore Senior said, Moogies go be sneaky. Wah. The way they talk, said, be dangerous. The real silent killer who, who you can trust to always get the job done. King Kojo says, My all time RTB's favorite is slow that you never get old. Sweetness Frankie says, Brandy, we need more of RTB's, but tell them we need their help. This morning show is a blessed one, of course. I was about to eat some white chip, but the hunger go. Oji Wangana says, please, for information, today the break is only for we, the Tema people, because our gods are in the building. Um, at Belgo says, when we talk of geniuses, Andy, RTBs are the true replica of that truly magical stuff. Uh, the reflexologist, oh, my guy. Uh, Selassie says, RTBs, uh, payday, you they spit wisdom too much. Makola dreams, which you manifest, be mad song. Bless Andy. Gok underscore G8 says, I really love the relationship between R2Bs and Mim Life Records. Please, Andy, can you ask them how it all started? Uh, Mim Life? 
you have a relationship with him? Yeah, yeah. That's a uh, brother in Tema. Okay. He's running a label and he's doing very, very well. Mm. At Hard Nipple says, <laughs> yeah, they named yeah. <laughs> <Is that, laughs> What's that name? Hard Nipples. <laughs> It says, I to be spy, they are legends already. So why make it seem as if when Whiskey put you on the, on this platform, it sums up to you guys being lazy or not grinding enough. Everyone <coughs> needs help one way or the other. This is business. Oh, okay. Original slide says, we are pa big mini. Man one shot and shot. I say they are my big brothers. One man in the whoa, whoa, and uh, one man in my hotel to say, please <laughs> listen to the last punchline. It says, please don't brotherize this crap. <laughs> if there's any English like brotherize, <laughs> Mr. Logic, please come in. Oh, Mr. Logic, please. Mm. Oh, I spoke to you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so he spoke to yeah. him even without knowing him? <laughs> yeah. Because he came to tell me that you spoke, yeah, spoke to him. I spoke to him. When I saw the, the tweet, I thought it was, we had to come yeah. that day. So okay. I, thought, I was thinking, ah, but we know book Andy. So I, I was with Richard also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we spoke. So we spoke. He can't tell me I say, Master, forget these guys. Yeah, they are my guys. Especially the US and the UK pastor. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I'm a busy savior. Oh, respect, respect. respect, respect, respect you may not be this. Charlie, big up our two bees. And nice, at nice, all times. Serious. I'm, I'm, I'm really lost of words. I was just enjoying the interview and then how you break down the questions. Thank you. And also, how Mugi sneakily they come <laughs> and drop one point. And then he's he's gone. crazy, crazy, crazy. You know, and I think the the secret behind how to be is writing good songs is just a matter of discipline, how the perception, how they see life. Because if you combine Mugi's and Payday, you see that Mugi's on its own is like a whole, <laughs> a whole you know, it's the whole realms of the whole of, universe. Of, of, of creativity. Yeah. He can do raga, he can rap, he can sing all together, one person. Yeah. And he does them too Incredible. well. Very well. I mean when the the rap he did on one of the songs you played yeah, with. Girl. Yeah. I mean like a dance all artist. <laughs> and he sounds so well with the accent also. Yeah. Then with a the singing someone, too. Someone who claims he was born in the gut. Yeah, you know. You Come know. to think of it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's also the blessing, no, blessing but, but, in being born in no, a gutter. No, but but the way you 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 sorry to yeah, break into yeah. your your, I know you don't like that. Yeah, sure. But you are fond of doing that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, no. But how how do you do it? You sound. I remember the first time I heard I heard you on a record. I'm like, yo, is this guy Ghanaian? Yeah. So me, I. I knew Mugis from, from back from, in the yeah, day. Yeah, from Samini's time. Yeah, yeah, from Gomi days before I got to meet you. So when I heard, I'm like, yo, I need to call Mugis. I need to call and ask him, who's, who's this guy? So where is the accent from? Oh, you know, also because I'm like, I, I started English rap. That's oh. how I started to rap. I okay. was, yeah, I wanted to rap in English. So I had to master that craft. It took me a lot of time. Okay. Yeah. So I listened to like a lot of hip hop songs. And it's like when I met La Mem. I remember the first time I met La Mem. Yo, Dakon, uh, Space Black, uh, RJZ, right? Yeah. And one of my boys, Nana B, I just come from America. He watched Dakon. Munko America. You <laughs> <laughs> watch Kid Black. What's <laughs> Munko America? <laughs> no, no, it's not true. Okay. Yeah, Ghanaians are really good, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can. I, I don't know if it's imitate, but we can really mimic. Learn. Mimic. Mm. Mimic. Yes, that's the word. Mm, I see. Yeah. So, and so let me let me quickly land. So, for me, I really respect you guys a lot. Seriously, you are one of the groups I have ha I haven't criticized before. Because I look at the combination of songs you do, the way you blend the rap, the content. There's always something to say about love. It's not easy to, to be able to be consistent with love yep. songs. And yep. then you, you always sound different. That's true. And that's how you, you guys have been able to maintain the, 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 the brand. So Charlie, your respect there is huge from my side. And then with Payday, if we should select like best rappers in Ghana, Charlie, I think say you fall within the first, the top five there. We wouldn't want to call names because when you do, then you start stepping on people. But if we should talk about top five rappers in Ghana, you the four within. Pede is number one. Yeah, you the four within. So now the number one, we have to decide. Obia, 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 No, it's good you've even raised this. Yeah. So, so, 
how do you feel when people go <laughs> like <laughs> no 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 <laughs> uh, no because you you, yeah. you know how it feels you, you, yeah. <laughs> who feel who feels it why is martinez why are you so quiet because oh. I think he's here. Yeah, they all so need to speak. I should be quiet. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we, we have a multi-million dollar yeah. show coming, so we don't want. <laughs> we don't want. We don't want you to interrupt. No, but how how do you feel when people say you are your rap is whack? <laughs> it's, I don't know if you if you hear it. Oh, I, I, not even now. I mean, because now when I when we started the whole mastering brand, it's kind of changed. But before that. I even actually recorded my song, my uh, mixtape, Victory Through Harmony, because of comments like that. Okay. One day I was driving to Tema, I remember very well. And I don't know if it, I think it was Sammy Forcing. It was Sammy Forcing. Because I was thinking, ah, but Sammy Forcing knew me. Okay, anyway, cool. So I was listening to Why, Sammy what Forcing, <laughs> and then he played like 10, top 10 rappers in Ghana. Okay. And... You know, mention my name. <laughs> <laughs> Ten <Dead> rappers, <bro. laughs> and I was, I was thinking, ah, some forcing. Ten rappers were no kind of Or if you say, ah, oh, and I was thinking, and I was thinking. So I was thinking, okay, so uh, more people know me through r 2 bs music, and with how commercial our music is in r 2 bs if you only know payday from r 2 bs you, it's fair enough if you say he doesn't know how to rap. You know, that's what I told myself. Because when I was thinking 10 years too much, but then I, I said to myself, that, I mean, more people know me through how to be. So if it's only that they know, then it's fair to say he's not really, you know, mm. that special. But then I said to myself, that, okay, I go show them for Ghana here. Who do rap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know, I just said to my cause we yo, we so really the rap. We really the rap. We really not just me, me and Mugis. <laughs> How we started this, we've grinded this rap. Like a lot of people, a lot of rap fans don't even understand rap. They just listen to rap. They don't know the elements of rap. So they don't know metaphors. Yeah. They don't know like flow. They don't know, you know, they just listen to what he said. You know, if you listen, Omar Sterling once said, Life is in a skirt and a perm. We you know f a brother up and take their spam. Nipa Audrey and you are the You made that line. Yeah. Yeah. Master Len once said, "Life is in a skirt and a perm. We in to f a brother up and take his spam. So life is a life is a like a woman. B B B I T C H. Yeah. Uh, I, oh, I, I, I gave you a radio edit to your woman, woman. so you, you, went <laughs> out, you went ahead to spell <laughs> it. I want a real thing. Please continue. Yeah, so so quick quick one. Charlie, big ups, big ups, not respect. You. I mean, some of us, we, we really ap appreciate content. So, media, you are my all-time uh, brand. I respect you guys a lot, a whole lot. But my only advice is, I think you've, you've, you've grown to legendary status. So on the side of the media, I really would advise you to take it slow because the media loves you. That's the truth. Oh, of course yeah, we do. Yeah, the media, anyone, maybe there are few personalities no, of radio. No, no, not to cut you. When I said that, I wasn't necessarily talking about us. No, I'm even talking about this morning, what you just, not the previous ones. Even that, yeah. when I say, when anytime we're talking, we're not talking about just R2Bs. We're talking, talking about, about the, whole the whole industry. So like, that's okay, why I okay, mentioned Kwame okay, okay. Eugene. Okay, sure, no, sure, so sure. It's sure, not sure. necessarily about R2Bs. R2Bs. I know the media love R2Bs. Yeah, because, because R2Bs, you're one of the brands that actually, Ghana, they love you. The media especially. Yep. They have, there's a value for you. So I, I, I can understand when you are not comfortable with how they sometimes treat some, the yes, other, yes. some of your colleagues. Yes. But then with you guys, yeah, Charlie, you did up there. On the media, yes, 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 I mean, from their time to, to date, from their generation, they've been able to stand strong, deliver hits upon hits. So it's, it's fair we, we, we accord them that uh, recognition that they are the finest. I mean, churning our hit song is not easy to write um, sensible song. It's not an easy task. 
And for all this while, like he said, they are disciplined. They try to be responsible people. So it's manifest in their song. Um, one of the songs I love so much is Straight From The Mass. Also with uh, Whiskey. I don't know how you guys do it with him, but anytime you have a collaboration with him, that's that's huge. And um, looking at the impact Ademat had on people or the, the, the youth out. Yeah, yeah, 2008. From then to the date, you guys have been, you know, on your grounds. I don't know the secret though, but you guys are so, so amazing. I I only expect r to be by now should have also be part of the BET Award winners because you guys deserve it. I don't know if that has that has not been your target no. all this while. Huh? Because looking at the work you guys are putting out there, I mean, BET and Grammys, you, you guys also, you know, you deserve you, that recognition. You know, you know, you know, the the joy is in is in the doing, not the results. Okay. The joy is in doing, not the results. If you always wait for results, if you want your happiness to be in the results you'll be very disappointed because the results doesn't depend on you. The doing is entirely yours, so you can do. But for there to be results, it's, it's not yours. So because of this, we, we, don't, it's, we, we don't care about our words. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. But then do you have any country you guys are big out there? I mean, like your song, big out there, like a chair. You know, Kachet's song, Pressure, is big in Liberia. It's like they are huge over there. We have a country. Of every song, most of our songs are huge Afrobeat songs. Slow down tonight. Yeah. Over. You will catch their manager. You see? Look. Mugis, make it not talk again. Eh? <laughs> no, you are here. Mugis, Mugis, Mugis. I know, I don't want to hear you say the talk. Did they hear we? Then they hear you. <laughs> if I'm speaking of Ketcha, you just mentioned Ketcha. Ketcha sends a message. Now Joshua sends a message. He says, "I'm loving the interview, legends." Ratatata, ha. I'm loving it. Good morning, Godfather. My favorite rapper of all time. I always say it's anywhere, everywhere I go. Payday. I'm loving the interview. You, Papa, Father, good job. Right, Charlie, right. Joshua. Yeah, so, um, so RTB is a clan. You get now, it is a clan. So, <laughs> it's true. It, it, it's true. It, yes, it has to stay to produce more talent. Even 100 or 200 years, it should produce more talent. You get it. So, um, just maintain that, uh, you know, principles you are using. So that going forward, even if you are not around, r 2 bs will still exist. And then my last point is you talking about we not having an industry. M most of the time, it looks like when people like you or artists like you speak that way, I feel it discourages up-and-coming uh, artists. So if you feel we don't have an industry, what are you doing or what are you starting? I mean, on the grounds for, for a difference or for transformation or something to change, not just saying we don't have an industry and that ends it. No, when I say we don't have an industry, you see, words are just very limited. It doesn't always explain the whole thing. You know, when I say we don't have an industry, for instance, and I compared it to like the West, right? Like here in Ghana, we don't get royalties. Our songs are played in pubs, clubs, hotels. You know, we don't get royalties. This is not is this is something that I barely can do anything about. We've never received We don't get royalties. At all. At all here in Ghana. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, we don't get royalties. I mean copyright, I remember uh uh what's the cause what's the name? Gamro. From time to time they say they have check for us. Do you, do you go for them? No. Nah. Why? Uh because you know it's a long story. I don't really want to draw Gamro. You know. Is it because it's too small? You think it's too... Do they mention the amount? Do they mention the amount? <laughs> <laughs> do they? No, I don't Ike, know. Ike, 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 Ike. Ike. No, do they mention the amount? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was a time I had uh, 100 CDs. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, ah, wait, wait. No, no be, be truthful. 100 CDs. Have you assigned your works to, to Gamro? 
Which one is Gamu? Gamu, Ghana. You know of what? Gana. Wait, wait, wait. I know of Kosga. <laughs> eh? yeah, okay, so we is the old guy. Kosga is the old guy. Gamu is the old guy. You know of Kosga. Fuck Gamu. No, but he said he knows Gamu. Okay. He essentially is the same thing, Gamu. But yeah, the new name for Kosga is Gamu. Gamu. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I even I think it's even bigger than Gamro. The problem, yeah, it's bigger yeah, it's than Gamro. Yeah, it's true. That's why I was saying I don't want to drag them. Gamera. Yeah, it goes yeah, beyond yeah. Gamro. I asked whether you've assigned your 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 works to to Gamro. Have you? We uh, I think uh, past works, yeah. but not currently. You know, because uh, the world also. You get Ghana music card. Who? Me, no. Why? <laughs> you get some, <laughs> eh? You get some. <laughs> Why? So you are not a member of music. I don't know how it works. I don't know how it But you see, you don't speak like that. When you do that, people are listening. So for R two B, then you ask you about music, and you say, I don't know about that. You must know. It's the music I musicians union know. of Ghana. But I don't have anything that like. Connects me to it, but you have to go there and find out. It's it, oh, unless you're right. You to, I don't really think you have to go there and find out. Yeah, you know, they, they've not come to you. Yeah, you want them to come to, to you. We, them, we, we, them, did they work for? If they are working, but do work, yeah. did they do? They work for us. We don't work. And for it's them. true, bro. Because, like you're saying, we've not gone to them, but we are still operating, right? Mm. But them, did they use we and our colleagues? They take the operate. Mm. So it'd be them for come to us. Mm. Hits 103.9 FM. Welcome back. Welcome back, folks. Welcome back. We're live on air. All right. Uh, it's still our two beasts in the studio. Uh, Sadiq. Yes, sir. Um, R2 is there. I mean, one of my... I wear Pedidi. Here come, here come. Uh, I mean, obviously, one of my all-time favorite groups. Um, my... my I've always had a particular problem with them that I've always fought with their <laughs> their teams, you know. I mean, but their product has always been top notch. It's been good. What One of the them was the fight. Over, you know my fight. <laughs> <laughs> Mugis, Mugis, ask. You say what be the fight? That's why you know my fight. Make I make I not do the fight today. <laughs> we not go do the fight today. <laughs> but I mean, essentially, I mean, it's got some very good products. Um, I think that, and I've shared the opinion. Fine wine is one of my best release songs this year um you know so we got a very good i mean work i think that and now i'm understanding from when you hear from when pd speaks and talks about how he drives or they drive a certain level of oh okay they drive a certain level of happiness from the doing and are not necessarily focus on the results and so now i can understand some of the things that happens to get for them uh, but i think that going forward they need to focus on both obviously the, pro the the process and the doing and creating the product because you could see that they spend a longer time creating the product which essentially um 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 creates that superior product they've been always created but the problem has always been how it moves beyond the creation and becomes like a massively global songs because they've got the songs if they've, they've got the product they, they have no problem with the product um it's often it's the push Mm -hmm. you know and so i mean going forward i've seen that they've started to put in a lot more to ensure that they will do a lot of works to promote and push you know their good product and which is a good one i like this album my favorite on it far is fine wine until Ooh, also decided sweet to, song, sweet song. yeah fine wine yeah I, mean, I guess our story on now, but remember now, remember now, you know so i mean i like fine wine obviously your best is beginning to take off uh fire and i like the video you know um i'm, I'm a visual person remember they show me a video i know that charlie this video must receive rotation mm. you know so it's a good one it's a good one right thank, thank you yeah. Yeah, please come in okay your big brother you are, you are brotherizing it oh no your no, big they brothers. Are actually they are literally my big brothers because i grew up seeing them i come from the same place they come from okay. i'm from side 17 they are from really yeah. <laughs> they are from side 15 their manager is basically my big brother uh, so I'm, I'm just like happy to see them here i'm just you don't see the body for size it's everything for me you show me you show me I'm, I'm so now you remember the body <laughs> so oh. you see the body no <laughs> yeah. i'm just i'm just show happy me, and i'm just proud of them they make those of us who come from where we come from also happy so um 
I like all the songs on the album, but a boss is kind of growing on me. I, it gives me some vibes, be like that. <laughs> and it, it's just a, almost like a surreal moment right now because I grew up seeing, I, I used to call him Bra Faisal. Him <laughs> in the neighborhood with his cornrows and the girls like fawning over him. It was every girl's heart throb when we were You had cornrows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, he was every girl's heart throb. So it's kind of a surreal moment. And I'm just proud I'm able to be, a, you know, like, speak to them. <laughs> Get to hunk. <laughs> Get to heart throb. I know, right? Get to hunk. Right. So they would come to, they would come to the hood and every girl be wants them to send them. <laughs> okay. Okay. She's taking you back, man. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so I'm, I'm just happy. I'm just happy to have them here. And I mean, wow. they've reached legendary status. It's their icons. And I mean, they are one of our best products to ever go outside Ghana. So I'm just happy to have them here. And I know it's, it's, it's not even a brainer. It's a no-brainer that this album is going to do wonders. Yeah. Mm. Thank you very much. Mm. Thank you. Very much. Okay, Thank listeners, we are about <laughs> we are we are about to go. We're about to go. Well, thank you very much for coming, man. For me, I've chosen one. I've chosen another. I've chosen one on the album. Now, if if you permit me, um, Mugis and 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 Omar, let me choose another one. Uh, let me adopt it. <laughs> so yeah, 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 I mean, whoever brings me an album, I make sure I adopt one. Yeah. Whilst they, all of them are doing one, two, three, four. I'm busily doing track eight <laughs> because well, it's something I may have discovered on it. And yes, I, I that, that's what that's what I like. And thank you very much for blessing us with an album. And again for coming. Thank you very We're much. So thank you very much. I'm so does. grateful. Um, DJ Black is Black. He, he, come give them instrumentals. Make them rap. <laughs> Yeah. Black. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So you won't fight, eh? Okay, that's solid. All right, thank you. Ma, thank you very much for coming, Martin. Hey, Mugi, Shalip. Respect. Respect, Omar. Yeah. Thank you, man. Almost sat. Nice. Thank you, Ria. Thank you, Mr. Logic. Thank you, Sadiq. This is Pits.